Hello friends, I am Tushar Purohit. So, we have completed our assembly of the telescope. So now there are the few things that you have to remember and you have to follow these steps before observation. So, right now the tube is kept on a stand and we will start observing a particular thing. But when we place the mirror inside here, the primary, it is not aligned with the secondary. So, we have to do this first alignment of this primary and secondary along with the focuser. So, what I will do, just look down, so you will find the in a center there is a secondary mirror. So, first I will adjust the secondary mirror with the reference of the tube or the circumference, the inner circumference which is visible. So, I will adjust the secondary first, then I will adjust the primary, the second one. So, observing this particular thing, what I am going to do, I am going to put a mobile on the top of this, so you can able to see what I am exactly doing inside the tube. So, it will become easier to understand. So, I am going to keep this on top of this. I will adjust. So now, the secondary mirror is visible in my mobile. So what I am going to do, I am going to do, here is the spider, okay, and the spider is having a three screw, and the central screw which is exactly holding a secondary mirror. So I am going to change the position of this three screw and align with the tube. All right. So, it will show you the exact curvature or the most important is the alignment. Okay. While doing this same thing, keep in mind, the secondary is placed on the top of the telescope. If you tilt the telescope, what will happen? It may, may possible that secondary fall down and in this case, the secondary will directly hit a primary. So, keep in mind ki whenever you are going to do such exercise or alignment, keep this particular tube perfectly horizontal and you can adjust the thing. All right. So, I have placed a mobile with the help of the mobile adapter and we can observe what exactly I am going to do here. Okay. So, we have just placed a spider inside the tube, but we have not done the alignment of primary and secondary. So, I will start doing this thing. So, I have started this thing. So, now with your fingers, you can adjust or slowly loose the screw, okay, and you can able to see a reflection from the mirror and keep in mind the focuser or the secondary should be visible exactly in the center of your focuser. So, I am slowly tightening this thing adjusting. Okay. So, without a mobile you can just directly look from the focuser without eyepiece and you can align this particular thing. So now, my secondary is almost fixed. So what I am going to do, you can able to see a circle here at a bottom. Okay. So 
so you can able to see a complete circle okay so now the mirror is not visible in this particular thing so i will adjust a mirror a little bit after this i will fix the secondary position now the next thing that is you have to align a primary mirror up for the purpose of primary mirror you can able to see at a mirror cell there are the three different screws that you have to one should be a tight the other should be a loose so it will help us to change the plane of the mirror okay so we'll go and do this exercise i am keeping this on a same position so now you can see the reflection okay so now i will start adjusting a primary mirror so now you can see the changes slowly the mirror is visible and i'm changing one by one screw okay now you can see the spider is visible in mirror so we have to bring that spider exactly in a center so almost our collimation is done so you can able to see a primary mirror exactly visible and along with the a secondary mirror is exactly in a center so now i will lock this thing and your collimation is done okay so collimination of primary mirror and secondary mirror is done so now i will just check it out with a pin hole you can also use a pin hole for making this particular thing as a extremely accurate all right so now the next thing that we have to fix up now we have just fixed the focuser so we'll fix up a ips viewfinder and we'll start observing a close by object and this alignment of viewfinder and this main telescope that you can do in a slightly before the evening so it becomes easier to understand and collimate alignment all right so we'll do that we'll fix up the thing